The first thing that you have to do in order to use a wiki is you have to have an account with Wikispaces. So I'm going to show you how to set up that account and then join the wiki. So go to www.wikispaces.com. Just type that into the top and hit enter. And Wikispaces will come up and you'll see two green bubbles. Click on the one on the right side that said, says wikis for individuals and groups. So click there scroll down and you'll have to enter a username, password, and email in order to join. So I'm going to enter um, the same as the email address I'm using for this. I'm going to enter animal lover 1029. I'm going to enter my usual password and my email. Now, you don't have to use the same username as you do your um, the beginning of your email address. I just do that for memory's sake. But I do recommend writing down the username you made up, the passwords you made up, and you should know your email address and keeping up with that. You need to do that for any site where you create an account. So I'm going to click on Join Now. If it didn't like Animal Lover 1029 is my um, username. If that was already somebody's username, it would have told me and I would have had to create something different or it would have given me a suggestion. So you would just change it here. But it liked it. So what it's going to tell me is to please confirm my email address by going to my email. So you don't really do anything on this page. You just go to your email. So I'm going to go to Yahoo, which is where my email is. I'm going to click on Inbox so it will update. And once it updates, sure enough, I see an, e an email in here from Wikispaces that welcomes me. So I'm going to click on that. And what Wikispace is doing is just making sure that you typed everything in correctly. So you go down, scroll down to where you see Confirm Your Email, and click on the link under Confirm Your Email. Once you click on that link, if you have problems with it, you can always highlight it and paste it. Um, but once you click on that link, it's going to bring up a window that's going to welcome you to Wikispaces and you have your Wikispace account now set up. You'll see your username at the top. So mine says Animal Lover 1029 at the top. And this is my Wikispace account. Now I'm not interested in creating a Wikispace, but I am interested in adding some Wikis under Favorite Wikis. So what I'm going to do now is go to the Wiki um, that I emailed you guys the link to, and that's bodywisdomhealthyliving.wikispaces.com. If you still have this link, you can click on it. If you don't, you can type it in, bodywisdom, bodywisdomshealthyliving.wikispaces.com. It's right here. So you type, type that into the top and hit enter. And when you do that, um, you'll see that you are still logged in. This is your account. However, you're not a part of this wiki because it says join this wiki. And what that means is that this wiki is protected and you can't make any changes to it. You can look through it, but it's not going to let you make any changes or anything. So what you can do is click on join this wiki. And the reason you want to join it is so you can do things like participate in discussions and add recipes and things like that. Um, so this is one place where we compile all of our information and it's nice and organized. So when you request a membership, type in something like, hello, this is whatever your name is. Notice that, you know, my email address is animallover1029, so it's my account. So the person running the wiki space has no idea who you are if you don't identify yourself unless your name is in your email. So I'm going to click on Request Membership, and you'll see that um, it tells you that your membership request has been sent to the organizer. So let me show you what happens on my end. You don't have to worry about anything. At this point you're just going to wait to receive an email back from the wiki organizer. But I'll show you what happens on my end. So I'll go to login as myself. So I'm going to actually sign out as Animal Lover and I'm going to sign in as my usual self 
which is happy teacher one. And when I sign in as my usual self, I will see that under pending wiki membership requests for one of my wikis, I have a bunch of wikis that I'm in charge of, but under one of my wikis, Animal Lover 1029 has asked to, to be a member of this particular wind, uh, wiki I'm in charge of. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on this. It tells me again that Animal Lover has requested membership. I'm going to either click here to approve or click here to reject. So if you don't tell me who you are, I may not know who you are, so I won't accept it. So click here to approve, and what that does is it makes you a member. Now Animal Lover 1029 is a member, and I'm going to go to Animal Lover's email, and we'll see that they've been accepted. So if I go to Yahoo, again, I'm going to click on Inbox to update the inbox. And I'll see a new email that um, is talking about the request. And it says that the Wikispaces request to join Body Wisdom Healthy Living has been approved. So you can go right back to that link for Body Wisdom. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But you can type it in or you can click here. And now, when you go here and let me sign in as Animal Lover, so I'm going to click on Sign In. This is how you will sign in now. So I'm Animal Lover 1029, it recognizes me. And I click on Sign In. I want it to remember my password. Just to make it easy. And under Favorite Wikis, will you look at there, there's Body Wisdom Healthy Living. I'm going to click on it anytime I want to go to it. And now Edit is available. So if I want to go, say, for example, and add a recipe, I can click on Recipes, click on Edit, type something in underneath all the recipes that are there. You can't do a lot with formatting in this. So say um, bolding and, and bulleting is about it, nothing really extravagant. So I click on Save once I'm done. If you scroll down, you'll see what I just added. So now anybody that is a member can make changes. And one of the cool things is the discussion page. So if you go to Discussion and click on New Post, you can say, you know, maybe you're having a tough day and, um, Sweets are really calling me, and it's all I can do not to eat chocolate. So maybe I post that, and then maybe somebody else is on here and sees it, and um, comes back and clicks on it. And, and goes to reply and says, oh, I hear you, yesterday was like that too, for me. So, and, and there's other things we don't have to just talk about how hard it is. We can, you know, have discussions on um, how, how we're feeling about things like all the things we learn about nutrition, maybe the um, learning about sugars in food and when we do start including carbs, how we're doing that. And there's lots of stuff that we can include in our discussions. So that's it. If you have any questions, give me um, an email at happyteacher1 at gmail.com.